Let's have a quick look at logic gates. By the end of this presentation, you should understand the difference between an AND gate, an OR gate, and a NOT gate. You should also be able to visually identify the logic gates and the truth tables attached to them. On a circuit board, there are thousands of little transistors and capacitors which store data and manipulate electrical signals. The electrical signals will be manipulated differently depending on the logic gate which is assigned to the transistors or the capacitors. Here is a diagram of an AND gate. It has two inputs and one output. An AND gate will only allow an electrical current to pass if it has two positive inputs going in. All the possible inputs and outputs are represented in something we call a truth table. Um, an electrical current is represented as a one and no electrical current is referred to or represented as a zero. We can see here in the first row of our table, if A is zero and B is zero, P, which is the output of the AND gate, will also be zero. In the second row, we can see if A is zero and B is one, P will again be zero. If A is now one and B is zero, P will still be zero. The only way P becomes one which is the output of the AND gate, is if both A and B are true, which means electricity is passing through both of the inputs. Here is a diagram of an OR gate. Again, it has two inputs and one output. Um, for the output of an OR gate to be true or positive, at least one of the inputs needs to be true. This is again demonstrated on the truth table. We can see as long as one of the inputs is turned on, the output will also be on. The last logic gate we're looking at is a NOT gate. It takes one input and provides one output. Any input that goes into the gate is basically reversed. If a zero goes into it, a one will come out. And if a one goes into it, a zero will come out. Logic gates can be combined to create more complicated logic circuits. Um, they're created so that you can take multiple signals and combine them to give different results.